Hello everybody. I'm so excited to be sitting here on this glorious day and I'm going to share with you the making of a chicken wire armature which is so versatile. You can see two structures in front of you and you're thinking mm, what's this so I'll talk you through the making of them and also a armature for a hand tied. So let's get started with the making and then I'll explain how we complete it. Okay so what we need and we also are all mindful that we are in lockdown and what have we got at home and at our disposal? We don't have access to popping to um, a floral distributor. We have Super Floral in Cape Town or a hardware store. But we should all have our, our different gauge wires. And so we can definitely make a really versatile armature with our wires. So the wire I'm using is a 1.25 millimeters which is 17 gauge so now we need 10 wires okay and so what we do is we take our wax tape start at the top we just twirl it around and then you keep turning the wire stretching and pulling your wax tape and you see how quickly it just goes down right so that's the first step is to prepare your wires and if you've only got thin wires at home that's absolutely fine because you can um, just put two or three together and bind them Okay, so we've got 10 wires and what we're going to do is we're going to bind them at the bottom. So we just hold the tape and we go around, we make a little stem. Okay. And it depends, I'm preparing this for a hand-tied armature, but if you are wanting to make a more enclosed armature, you see the, um, my stem length is short, stem length is short, so it's depending what, what you have in mind and what you'd like to try, okay? Oh glory, okay, let's just put further and then we just go back just to strengthen it. Um, okay, just let's get this out the way, then you can see exactly what I'm doing. Then we just take each wire and bend it down. So all I'm saying is please be careful of your eyes with these wires coming down and especially when we start working <clears throat> making our our trick and wire then see i'm just coming down 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 Oof, i nearly whooped my eye there and down right then I'm going to make petals. I call them petals. So the first step is making a petal. So what you do is you bend to meet. You bend and then you twist and you twist. Okay? Twist. Go to the next two. So you always work in twos. So you're making a total of five petals. Okay, you bend, 
twist, twist. Okay, just keep moving around. Just bend them into a leaf petal shape. And then twist, twist. Okay, and we think about, let's twist again like we did last summer. We are experiencing this most glorious autumn weather. But you heading for your spring, wherever you are, and your summer. So we just so enjoying this weather. The mornings and the nights are cold, but the day. Right, so now, can you see? Step one. Step two is take, so I'm holding it up, I'm holding two petals, and you see my wires, and you see the inner wires. That's what we work with. So the inner wires are going to come together and they're going to say, hello, my friend, hello. Okay, and then also something to just, okay, hello, and let's twist again. And then we move around. And then also just be mindful of your petal spacing. So that we don't put a pet, two petals on top of each other or a wide spacing. Just so that it's sort of even. Does it have to be perfect? It's not mass produced and, you know, bum, bum, bum out. It's, um, it's something creative and unique and that's what you're doing. Um, just keep going around. Okay. Twist, twist, two twists. Almost done. Just keep going around and the two inner ones are saying hello again, my friend. Hello. And I always think I love that Neil Diamond. Hello, my friend. And there's also Lionel Richie. Hello. And Adele. Hello, but sad. But yeah. Anyway, those are all the hellos that they said. And the great thing about your wires having the wax tape is it's just great to mold. So you can create the shape. So instead of just having it flat, I'm going up now because I'm wanting to create that round shape. Then we go to the next step. It's exactly the same. We have our, our four wires there. We take the two. What are they going to say? Hello. Again, hello. We must just be mindful of lockdown and our our floral friends who are on their own, just that phone call, howdy hi, how you doing, what's going on, you've actually made someone's day, so we can all do that, and you know what, isn't it just incredible how we are communicating with Zoom, and WhatsApp, WhatsApp, just video, WhatsApp group chats. So we are connected, but I'm still so looking forward to the day when I'm going to see all my friends again. And I know it'll have to be like a social distancing hang of it. Oh, yeah, so we have got good times to look forward to okay you see i've gone zooming around with twist twist and there okay i have that ready now if you're doing a hand side you put this up top and you see what's great at the bottom? You have your base. 
and you can make a wreath out of anything um i've had this wreath forever um just go into your garden and you know ivy even um twigs branches um imagine using making in one of of, of um, rosemary and even rosemary and lavender mix that would just be just that the senses uh and but then what you do is you just because now you have this and you have your arm you just secure it but now what i did with i'm going to show you um the hands i added I didn't want it resting like that. I wanted it at an angle. So what I did was <clears throat> I took my two inner arms, that the ones that, that say hello, and I twisted and I twisted. I just did two of them and I twisted twist it just to raise it so that I can and then just push it in where's my other one yeah and just push it in okay and you can oh glory it would help if I actually could you know I'm not trying to be acrobatic and do things round and about but if I just push it in there we are pushed in two twists just secure it push in okay then you see I have an angle that I wanted now I'm going to show you there this design see I wanted it angled and I wanted extra elevation or extra side elevation and then I I used the agapanthus heads because our agapanthus are finished and so the stems I've just cut two and I've pushed it in because I'm only having a front view visible because I'm going to put this on my console table. Okay, so you can see you can create a side, a side design, a side angle. And then let's just talk about the plant material. We always think about our um, elements and principles, you know, the rules and the tools, and these are all from my garden. And you know what? It's what you have available. So, you know, we're mindful of textures and form and color. And you can see there's repetition of color here and but you know what? Be kind to yourself. It's it's what you have available because we are in lockdown and our hearts are breaking for our, our flowers, um, flower suppliers, growers. And yeah, we all hope that we'll all be back to normal soon. And you're thinking, okay, well, I don't really have much. I might have a really small garden. And I just want to show you, um, these, we have a, a two lemon trees. If you have a lemon, um, just get a, th a thin branch and just push it in. And you can add lemons and you can also add some fruit. But you've got nice shiny round form you can add, okay? So I don't want you so, to have fun. Have fun with how you're going to... What you're going to do with your armature but now i want to talk you how through how i made that okay and this is just my wreath is an old ivy 
ivy wreath that I made forever, yonks ago. Okay, I'll start with this. If you go on Instagram and go to Odette Paxton, you'll be able to see this autumn palette design on Instagram and also my, I call it my pretty pink. So you'll be able to see the designs completed. So that you, you might like to, to look at. Um, here is my trick and wire. So now I have, you see my, my trick and wire. You can see the shape. And you can see all this mismashing. And I just want to say to you, I just used brown tape. And I covered my, my, my wire with the brown tape. And then I just went zooming around it. Just so that when I took my glue, my alkaline wood glue, um, and I used bandages and hessian. And it's also, you know, it's what you've got available at home. And... Um, I just laid the strips over and glued it down and so that formed as a support for the glue to stick onto okay and then I just want to talk you through the mechanics um you because when you look at my design on Instagram you'll see um I just took a jiffy bag a plastic bag any old bag even a shopping bag we shouldn't really have plastic bags shopping bags hey we should only have paper bags but there I just line it and I take this is just a um a cream a body butter tub whatever you've got a tuna tin anything cream trees whatever you've got in your fridge as long as it's I mean waterproof and I just took an oasis because I don't have the biodegradable yet I will only have biodegradable and I hope we all will but anyway I mean we are in lockdown and here we are so the shape pop it in pop your flowers in okay and that's exactly what I did here Exactly that, the tub and the oasis, and there are my flowers. And I used um, the cat's tail and the pittosporum and pink roses, the dianella. I looped and um, stapled. And these, I have a dear friend, Jane, to thank for the most beautiful hibiscus mutabulous well it should be hibiscus fantabulous because it ha it goes from white you see to pink <gasps> and uh yeah so i'm ecstatic about the hibiscus mutabulous let's just say the correct name so now i wanted to make this was for a high tea a lockdown high tea I wanted to make something pretty and feminine and pink and we're bringing out our royal albits and all you know our china tea sets and yeah have and our lace tablecloths and um what did I do I only had cardboard at home and so I cut out crochet petal shape and before i glued I, you know we've all got cling wrap at home i cling wrapped my trick and wire cling my armature cling wrapped okay and then for my um gluing of my petals and my feathers i used actually i used cable glue and it worked well and then of course the 
absolute queen of glues is the super floral the best and super floral i'm allowed to say that <laughs> oasis floral adhesive mm. okay now you're thinking i'm looking for something and i can't find it Why can't I? oh there it is okay you're thinking okay she's using feathers i don't have feathers i might have some cardboard I might have something for my to make my my petals but you know whatever you're going to do I just I'm just giving you ideas is the feathers but what you could do is if you really wanted to work with the um trick and wire just go further with that I made okay we're all stuck here I made when I attended Gregor's five days at Bonadier, I made, the, I did the trick and I used this trick and wire technique. Okay. And you can do exactly the same here on the edges. Obviously you won't take your two little arms. You'll just bend them in and you can do your, your trick and wire technique in whatever um, decorative wire you might have at home and um beads or or cocoa or hypericum berries whatever whatever you've got to go and find in your garden or yeah okay so that's just an idea as well and then for me my absolute highlight of my prettier was i I poured wax over the obviously I had it in a, in I'm gonna do it like this I had it in a bottle and I poured wax heated wax over and I showed you the color of the petal to the colors that came out I was absolutely blown away I was beyond thrilled um, there are layers in the cardboard because it is two-sided so there are layers in the cardboard so the colors came through and hmm, what a gift hey i was really very happy and also just to say you know you actually get all sorts of colors in in the, the wax tape that you could use and then also when i poured the wax on it just added that another dimension because the wax fell on the arms and it just yeah so everybody i hope you're excited i hope you can't wait to make an armature and have fun and either make something where you're going to put it in a bowl and and put it on a branch or can't wait to see the ideas and photographs that are going to be shared and also looking forward to doing more videos on my patio to share with you so have fun stay safe and stay positive and till next time bye